May 7th, 2008, saw Declan Kidney take the biggest job in Irish rugby. Having coached Munster to a second Heineken Cup, it was little surprise to see the Corkman replace Eddie O'Sullivan, and Kidney couldn't have dreamed of a better start to his tenure. His first season brought with it a first Grand Slam in 61 years. You know, today is one of the good days. You know, once you play to the end, you never know what's going to come your way in sport. That early success, though, seemed to stall all too quickly. In the years since, Ireland have finished second, third, third and fifth in the Six Nations, while Kidney's sole World Cup in charge also ended in frustration. Victory over Australia was a genuine day of history in Irish rugby's annals, yet the tournament ended at the quarter-final stage, after Ireland were outmanoeuvred by the Welsh. 2012 was another difficult year, culminating in a 60-0 trouncing by the All Blacks. Yet the Autumn Internationals brought renewed hope, as victory over Argentina secured Ireland's second-tier seeding for the 2015 World Cup. 2013 hasn't been easy either. Opposing views and Kidney's decision to switch the captaincy from Brian O'Driscoll to Jamie Heaslip were only silenced by an impressive Six Nations opening win over the Welsh while the coach's selection gambles on the likes of Simon Zebo and Craig Gilroy also paid off. Since February 2nd, though, things have gone downhill. A tight defeat to England was followed by a hugely frustrating one to the Scots, and early dreams of a Grand Slam were left in tatters. A lengthy injury list certainly didn't help, and Ronan O'Gara's omission, as well as Paddy Jackson's difficult test debut as kicker, have all been forensically examined. Ireland are now ninth in the world rankings, our lowest ever position. Declan Kidney can certainly reflect on a greater than fair share of bad luck recently, but his days as coach to his country are now at an end. Joe Stack, RTE News.